Hey, what is up guys? So we are going to be going over the list of the top 10 Pendulum Monsters in Yu-Gi-Oh! Let's go ahead and jump right into this. This is a list that you guys actually created with me. So let's go ahead and jump right into it with one of our first fan favorite cards. And I think one of the more OG Pendulum Monsters that was actually good in the game. That is Odd Eyes Pendulum Dragon. So this list is going to also include some of the fan favorite cards, but we will also talk about meta cards. So, first off, Odd Pendulum Dragon, again, one of the more original first Pendulum Monsters that we got in the game. And in addition to that, it has actually topped multiple times in different decks. It's just an overall great card, 25 meter, does double battle damage when it inflicts uh, battle damage to your opponent. Really good stuff if you are uh, actually battling a monster. Just great overall base card, plus it has that effect where you can search out a Pendulum Monster with 1500 or less attack. Very good stuff indeed. Next up, we got Archfiend Eccentric, the card that people have been praising once it's got its reprint. And a lot of people didn't have access to it because it was a really expensive card. But now, when everyone has access to it, you best believe they'll be side decking or main decking this card. Just an overall very versatile card. It has that ability to potentially get rid of any threat on the board via a monster or something that is a uh, spell and trap on the field. Very, very good stuff indeed, and because it's Pendulum, it gets to come back into the game. So, very, very good card, very versatile. Like, it's one of those Pendulum cards where any Pendulum deck can technically run it, and it would probably be a good addition in that deck. Next up, we have Guiding Ariadne. I think this is more of one of those fan favorite cards, but it has actually topped, and it was kind of meta at some point. Obviously, with the whole counter trap build uh, of where you're running all of the Solemns. Now this card, not only was it great just in, you know, the meta build, but you know what, it gave Counter Fairy players something else, because that deck is so ancient, we're talking ancient aliens old, but they finally got some support, and that's really cool, because that deck uh, never really took off. I know it did top, uh, technically, but the thing is, it wasn't really super meta, and this card just helps add to that counter fairy archetype that they so desperately needed because they had like battle for artemis that wasn't really about it and this really really helps out some of the older decks uh some of the uh players that used to play an older deck you know gave them hope that you know maybe they'll try pendulums in their older deck <laughs> next up we have the perform pal skull Crabat, joker one of the most amazing cards the stratos uh, if you will of the pendulum archetype the perform pals this card is absolutely insane. It only lasted a few weeks before it got touched by that ban list, but absolutely amazing card. Uh, it's just so great to just search out anything. There was really no restrictions for that card, except for, you know, you can't search out itself, but uh, just an amazing, amazing Perform Pal uh, card indeed. Uh, next up, we got the Monkey Boy. They are the brothers in arms. These guys, just so great in combination. You go Monkey Board, Search Joker, and then you go ahead and search out another card. But yeah, the band list got both these guys pretty quick. Uh, but uh, yeah, that is a, two of one of the greatest cards just in combination with each other. And these cards were very cheap. There's a Structure Deck card over here. A very, very easy card to obtain. Uh, and next up, we have Luster Pendulum the Draco Slayer. Absolute shenanigans went off with this card. Just be like, you know, just destroy it and then add another one. No problem, man. When you destroyed some of the cards, it got effects. And in addition to that, you get to put a Pendulum card back into the Pendulum zone uh, and face up in the extra deck, which gave you essentially a free summon because you would just Pendulum and grab that card once again, and then you can destroy it. You know, you can do whatever you want, and it plus, it gave you one of the better cards to synchro into, which of course let you bounce back things and it didn't target. Just overall, just a great, great card, and it let the deck synchro. It gave the deck more options uh, for a Pendulum player. Really, really excellent card. One of the greater tuner cards that we've had in Pendulums, and this card definitely, definitely deserves a spot on the top 10 list. Next up. Plush Fire. Now, I know this guy's banned. He technically is still, like, one of the best ones that we've had in the game. Uh, this card, I don't know, I feel like it was inherently so poorly designed, they just said, alright, alright, we gotta hit it. Um, and it was a common, too, so, like, everyone had, that played it, like, they played, you know, multiple copies of it. And that effect, the word you could, um, special summon it, but that other effect of, it was destroyed by battle, by card effect, you special summon one perform mage monster from your hand or deck. Just any, any, any perform mage monster from your hand or deck that is absolutely crazy whenever you spell something something from the deck you usually have like oh you're 1500 or less or how to be an earth or how to just no go for whatever you want go ahead and bust out the card 
Very, very good card indeed. Next up, we have Odd Eyes Rebellion. This is one of those fan favorite cards. And in addition to that, it was one of the ones that I think a lot of players were like, this card ain't coming out in the game. And what happened, guys? It came out. It absolutely crazy, crazy effect. Uh, but the thing is, like, when I covered this card, uh, I'll leave a video down below in the description box if you guys want to watch the video, where I talked about the XYZ Pendulum. It was only in the anime. It had a different effect, but the effect was still good. It wasn't so watered down... Uh, you know, like Crush Card Virus with the Errata that, like, people don't, like, play. It had essentially uh, an insane effect, but, you know, it is difficult to get out. I will definitely admit that. But people were like, this card ain't coming out in the game. It's an anime-only card. But it was it was one of the first XYZ uh, Pendulum Monsters to come out, and I think a lot of players were just, like, mind-blown that it was going to be a thing. And then we had the Synchros come out, but I think this is one of the ones where I think not only is it a fan favorite from the anime, uh, but also, in addition to that, it was giving us the idea that we could get fusion pendulums, that we could potentially get synchro pendulums. We actually do have synchro pendulums in the game. Uh, I don't think we have fusions at the moment, but you know what? That could happen in the future. So, this card alone deserves a spot on here just because, again, not only is it a fan favorite, but it also gave us the idea that in the future we could get pendulums that are synchro fusion XYZ uh, ritual. I don't know. The, the doors are open. This is like the Pandora's box. It gave us that idea that it was going to happen. Like, we got those cards. But like I said, guys, watch the video. Read some of the comments. Some of the comments are great. Like, the people are like, nice card never coming out in the game. It's just great. Like I said, just read the comments. It's, it's great. Um, next up, Wisdom Eye Magician. This one actually came in the uh, starter deck. Uh, very, very awesome card, but it got hit by that ban list relatively quick. Especially the Oxygen. Man, they hit this guy pretty fast. Uh, very good card. You just get to, uh, if you have another Magician or perform a PAL card in your other Pendulum Zone, you just get to destroy it again. Going back to the same mechanic of you just get this card for free, essentially. The idea originally with Pendulum was you had to invest multiple cards and then you were able to Pendulum Summon. But this negated that effect because the card that you destroy, you get a special summon immediately. So, very, very fast and powerful stuff indeed from a young Wisdom Eye Magician here. And next up, we got the Pendulum Sorcerer. Wow, this card basically made that Ariadne deck. If you guys haven't watched the <clears throat> video where I showed how insane Pendulum Sorcerer in combination with the uh, Guiding Ariadne, it is absolutely crazy what happened. Like, everyone was commenting on that video. It was, Again, read the comments in that video too. I'll link it down below. But, like, this card in combination with the Pendulum Sorcerer was crazy. You could destroy the cards, and then you could add them, and then Ariadne would trigger and proc, uh, I don't know, his, her effect, where you get to add, like, a Solemn. You, you, there were times where you get to add multiple Solemns from your deck to your hand, and then on top of that, you got to search out extra additional, uh, uh, what is it, the uh, Perform Pal uh, monsters, and then, of course, you have those awesome uh, Perform Pals, like the Monkey Board, the Joker, I mean, like, these were all, like, at its core, like, they all synergize so well with each other, and in, in addition to that, you can play cards like Arch Phoenix Centric. One thing that I will say with Pendulum cards, I know a lot of times we talk about the hate for the Pendulums on this channel, uh, but, I mean, the thing is, though, is pendulums allow you to make things that are really difficult to pull off where it requires, like, a tribute of this monster, this monster, uh, whatever. Pendulums actually allowed you to jump into that. But uh, before we get into the number one card, because other than that, I feel like most of these cards, they can be interswapped with the uh, rankings. But let's go ahead and go over uh, what we went over. We got the Odd Eyes, just one of the classic ones that we went over. And then Archfiend Centric, one of the cards that people were begging for that reprint. And we finally got it multiple times, in fact. We got it common, we got it gold, and of course, the best looking one, the secret rare one. And then we had Guiding Ariadne, Skullcrabat Joker, and then we had Monkey Board. Then we had the uh, Luster Pendulum, the Draco Slayer, Plush Fire, the guy, I know he's hit by the band list, but he's still one of the best. Maybe one day he'll come off, I don't know. Uh, then we got Odd Eyes, this is more of a fan favorite, and again, it opened up Pandora's box for us to see some of the other cards in the game uh, that, uh, you know, like I said, Fusion Ritual, we might get those in the future. Wisdom Eye Magician, Starter Deck card, excellent card, really good for people jumping into the game, those budget Pendulum players. Uh, it really gave us access to it. And then we have the Perform Pal Pendulum Sorcerer. And then our number one spot, guys, but not least. And this one definitely deserves the number one spot. Because it was actually the first, one of the first Pendulum monsters in the game. Pendulum Machine. Yo, look at this guy. Look at that. Oh, tribute? Tribute 1, 1750. 
OG, one of the best pens of the monster, Psych. You guys thought I left out Scout? No, I, it, this one was just a prank, bro. It was just a social experiment. But, number one spot has to go to Cliff Ward Scout. The reason why, this was the OG card that people were like, what the heck? It's a normal monster. It has an effect. It searched out anything in the deck. Pay 800, man. Cliff Ward, pay 8, man. This definitely has to deserve the spot for number one because it was the card that every time your opponent had, you're like, Oh my gosh, he opened up with Scout, or he would go Silver Star and Scout. Like, this is the Pendulum monster I think people feared the most when Pendulums first came out in the game. Definitely, definitely the card that deserves the number one spot, especially with all, all the jokes, all the memes with the Pay 8. Scout definitely deserves it. I, I know he got hit by the Banthamus, and that deck got completely destroyed multiple times, but uh, yeah, Cliff Force Scout. I mean, it's still relevant. People are still playing the Cleese now with the control, so uh, this guy has been one of the more resilient cards, and again, he's ha he probably has one of the best effects that I think I've seen in the game, especially for a Pendulum Moss. They can search out anything, and you get to affect every single turn into this card. Again, one of the more annoying cards, and a searchable off summers. Alright, this guy is the icing of the cake as far as the Pendulum Bus archetype goes. But anyways, guys, that is the list that you guys came up with, in addition with some of the stuff that I added in. But if I felt like if you felt like I missed out on one of your fan favorite cards, hey, let me know in the comment section below what your favorite pendulum uh, monster was. And you can make a top 10 list, you can make your top one. I would love to hear your thoughts in the comment section below. But anyways, thanks for watching guys, and make sure you guys give that like button a titty slap. And I'm signing out.